Welcome to a new theory. In today's theory, we're talking about who are the jumbled up characters in Five Nights at Freddy's 3. Basically, the there's like a box in the room that you're in if you've never seen it, and it's filled up with all of the old characters' parts or, you know, just these characters from the games, and we don't really know any, much about them. But basically, this theory by LAK132 basically tells you all about them. So I'll have a link down below to the article itself, so definitely check it out. Anyways, he says, let's just take a look at these posters for a moment. So basically I have on screen right now, it's the two posters from Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which have two animatronics and then a, what appears to be Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica, basically. He says, they lack cheeks and Freddy's hat doesn't have a red stripe, so it's not Gen 2. Bonnie and Freddy have a button, so it's neither the Gen 2 or 3s. Bonnie is bright blue, so it's unlikely that it's Gen 1s. Freddy is brown, so it can't be Golden Era. So who are these characters? Le well, it's probably just a, a jumble of all the different generations all drawn together, except the characters aren't new. They look like the ones that, that are on your desk in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which he has an image of. They look like the ones from the end night minigames in Five Nights at Freddy's 3, which once again he has another image of. And he says, but hang on, it's that, fi what the heck, FFP number 3, Five Nights at Freddy's 1 Pizzeria. Oh, okay, he like put it all down in like simpler terms, like what the heck is that? But Five Nights at Freddy's 1 Pizzeria? Other than the missing rooms, this seems to be best fit for the mystery location. So why are the animatronics all funky? The clues are everywhere. Gen 1's Freddy's arm, Foxy's arm, is present even after Five Nights at Freddy's 1. So yeah, they have a picture of that. Gen 1 Freddy's head are present in Five Nights at Freddy's 1, or at least it's closer to Gen 1 than Gen 3. And yeah, the, head, the heads don't look all that much alike. Gen 3 Freddy, but they do look a lot like Gen 1 Freddy. Could the heads have been an earlier design for Gen 3 Freddy that Scott decided not to use, only to use a very similar design for Gen 1 Freddy. He says, And then the fact that Five Nights at Freddy's 3 took place 30 years after Five Nights at Freddy's 1. In that time, the Preteria could have continued to run, only for the animatronics to decay over time, forcing Fazbear Entertainment to use Gen 1 body parts, or Bonnie parts, to keep Gen 3 Bonnie alive. They did keep the Gen 1s from that, for, for that very reason, Five Nights at Freddy's 2. So I conclude... Our demonic Bonnie friend, which another picture which I'll check out, he's got like a really cool picture of Bonnie, he's like blue, is in fact just Gen 3 Bonnie with some Gen 1 Bonnie parts and a new paint job. So this character that everyone's like, why does Bonnie look like this? He basically is broken down right there. It's Gen 3 Bonnie with some Gen 1 Bonnie parts and a new paint job. Maybe he looks like this, which he has a really interesting picture of. I'll try to get that in like the thumbnail and like obviously on screen right now because that's a cool image, honestly. So, Five Nights at Freddy's 4 would be Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Episode 2. So, they have some for reference things. So, this is very interesting because, I, you know, a lot of people saw these images and they're like, why does Bonnie look like this? This can't be Bonnie. It must be some new animatronic or something like that. But basically, he's kind of broken it down a lot simpler where it's not a new animatronic, but instead it's just a mix of the animatronics. So, Gen 3 Bonnie mixed with Gen 1 Bonnie parts and a new paint job. So... It's kind of interesting, though, if you take this in consideration that, you know, they've kind of mixed the parts into one and then thrown it on the poster. So does that mean that we're going to be able to sometime, like, at some point see this new animatronic? I don't know. It's not really a new animatronic, though. It's like a, just a mixture of them. It's really weird. So anyway, he says, for clarification, Gen 1 and 3s are the same animatronics. Their suits just went through some design changes between Vice Freddy 1 and 2, which is why they aren't allowed to just all just reference 2 as Gen 1. So that's basically... The gist of it all. Let's read over some comments. So he says, Jelly Liam says, I never noticed how different those those Freddy heads looked to Five Nights at Freddy's 1. Five Nights at Freddy's 1, Freddy jawline hangs over the bottom one while the heads don't. They also seem to be missing the glorious butt chin. Yeah, <laughs> basically. So, well, I'm calling them, them epic face animatronics until we get confirmation. So, yeah, it's just basically saying, you know, yeah, these, are, these aren't anything new. They're just like a mixture of them, which is really interesting. So, um, I'm reading over some of the other ones, see if there's anything else really interesting, and I don't really see anything. Basically, just people saying, um, that kind of stuff. Well, here's one that's kind of mean. <laughs> he said, this is stupidly overlooked. OP is trying to form some sort of theory from very little details that Scott probably doesn't care about because they don't even have any sort of impact on the actual game's storyline at all. This actually got, <laughs> got negative one points. And then he replied with saying, explain the fact that there are too many features on this then. And he shows a picture of... Oh, the picture of Bonnie in, like, pixel form. The minigames were meant to be simplistic versions of the characters, but this Bonnie's more complicated than any Bonnie we have seen. So, yeah, he makes a good point there, too. I mean, it's not... It's definitely not normal old Bonnie. Like he said before, like, this theory states, 
it's some sort of like combination of the animatronics put into like this one Bonnie, and it looks really cool. And it's it's kind of interesting if you think about that because I mean, if it could happen to him, it could happen to any of the other animatronics too. So, anyways, tell me what you guys think about this. I like this theory a lot, and I hope you guys did too. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe for more if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.